Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. Earlier today, I let you know that if you're using Google Chrome, that Google had rolled out Chrome version 143, which is now the latest release. I'll leave the video for that link down below and in the end screen if you'd like more info. But just to let you know that if you were enabling the experimental flag to enable the marker effect, just to tell you that it's been now completely removed with the upgrade and update to version 143. So if we head into our experimental flags page by entering chrome colon forward slash forward slash flags into the Omnibox and we enter marker, we can see no marker flag saying Windows 11 marker title bar. That's what the flag's name used to be. So that's been completely removed. Now, although the flag has been removed, the effect itself is not completely gone. And we can get it working again using a command line flag, which is a bit of a different method and solution. And Marker, just on a quick side note, picks up the opaque effect from your background and the background wallpaper and displays it in different elements like the title bar in the browser. So just to show you, I'm going to switch over to light theme because it's easier to see with a light theme. If I hit to light, you can see I've got a nice bright wallpaper in the background. As I move the title bar here, changes color to pick up that opaque of the desktop background, as you can see. So that's definitely changing color as I'm moving that around. So it's still there, but I've enabled it using a command line flag. Now, this is the flag, which I'll leave in the description for you to copy and paste. And in case you don't know how to enable a command line flag, just a quick reminder. So what you do is you copy this. You would head to any shortcut of Google Chrome, be that in your start menu, desktop, or in the taskbar, as in my case. You would click on, you would right click on that shortcut, click on properties. And what you would do in the target is to the right of the last entry, you would leave a space and then enter that flag like I have. So there's my last entry. You leave a space and then enter the flag as mentioned. You can copy and paste it. It'll be in the description. And then you would click on apply. You would click on OK. You would shut down Chrome. And then what I would suggest is restart your device because that's the only way I could get it working. Normally, if you just close Chrome and reopen it, it works. You can try that. But if it doesn't, restart your device, as in my case. And then, as you can see, the marker effect is working once again in the stable version by enabling that command line flag. So I just wanted to drop this quick video because the official flag on the experimental flags page has been removed now. So it does look at this stage that currently Google does not want to bring the marker effect into the browser, seeing that they've removed the official flag. But I've seen in reports during the rounds that there is a developer who is quite intent to get marker into Chrome. So watch the space. But nonetheless, that's a temporary workaround. You can use the command line flag, as mentioned in this video, to try and get your marker effect back and working in Chrome version 143. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.